up though, Yukon Gem, Russian Banana Fingerling, all blue. Any of those names sound familiar? Well, those are just some of the 5,000 kinds of potatoes in the world. Earlier this week, we checked on some of the ones grown right here in southeastern Wisconsin. back here in our urban garden once again right here in the heart of Milwaukee and we are talking about potatoes joined once again by the Wisconsin vegetable gardeners Joey and Holly Baird thanks as always so for people who've got their potatoes in the ground what do they need to know about their status right now well it takes anywhere from 50 to 150 days for the potatoes to grow and to be ready for harvest and if you look here as you can see they're yellowing the tops are dying back and that means it's time to harvest what do they need to know about getting them out and caring for them uh, the best tool to use is a garden fork you're going to have less likeliness of cutting a potato than a shovel. If you have only a shovel, that's fine. Go ahead and use it. But you want to dig far enough away from the plant that you're not damaging the tubers as you extract them from the soil. What do people need for their gardens right now at this time? Uh, you need moisture and you need heat. Potatoes are a cool weather crop you plant very early in this in the spring and you harvest them midsummer. The rest of your warm weather crops, your tomatoes, your cucumbers, your beans need a lot of water, but they need a lot of heat because they are a summer crop and not a cool weather crop.